the last day of February the 29th. By the way, when someone is born on the 29th on a leap year, in a leap year, what happens when there isn't a 29 for that next year and years to come? I don't know. But these flowers, I've been living for these Valentine's Day flowers and I'm wanting to get some St. Patrick's Day season flowers, but I didn't see anything I liked at Hobby Lobby and I'm not sure what to do because I really want some. Maybe I'll get some inspiration online or from Pinterest or something. I am so sorry. I never did anything in honor of Black History Month. Maybe I'll still watch this incredible movie. This this is one of my favorites. Um, but I guess because of the fact that all of the stores, all of the commercials, all of the music sites, all everything in society is only pushing for us to clearly remember what it seems only the black community and Native American community and no other communities. I'm sorry, but when you go into Target, you won't see anything for White History Month. You won't see anything for Hispanic History Month, Latina, whatever you want to say. You won't see anything for Asian History Month. It's not there. It is only for two, particularly one. So I guess that's why I'm like, it just, it just wasn't in me. So I'm sorry, but I'll still celebrate in my own way. So yay. So I have decided that this is going to be my last cup of joe because I don't like how it comes out the hole. Sorry. I had to say that and it rhymed. Um, and yes, I know there's a lot of calories in it, I've been told, and it just takes up a lot of space on my shelf in the refrigerator, because we all have our own shelves, as well as, like, share some, and, um, yeah, I know it's not that healthy for my baby, I, I understand, um, and it's just, it's a lot of work to prepare this every day, so I want to do something that's healthier and simpler, and, um, I'm sure I'll have it again at some point in my life, but, yeah, this is basically cocoa coffee, and it has been so good, but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you all know. <laughs> all right, so my husband's in my wedding anniversary for three years. What's Nina doing in the neighbor's yard? Okay, she's coming home. Um, Cats always wander around, like, it's like, can you just stay in our yard? Uh, anyway, just, yeah, she's so cute when she's like, Skipping across the, the road there. Um, <clears throat> she's safe. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So, oh my gosh. We are celebrating three years. I feel like we've been married forever. But also, like, not. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do for our wedding anniversary. I, like, I want to rent a place somewhere for, like, a weekend, maybe. Um, but I'll probably, I'm thinking, I mean, obviously we're going to take Maverick with us if we do. I'm sorry, like, we haven't let anyone babysit him yet. He is nine months old, and I just, you know, you just sometimes it's like you just don't really trust anyone. And plus, I don't have any of my family um, or relatives here in Mississippi. You know, they're all up north and everywhere. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just, I don't know. I'm getting excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can do something special and do a little getaway. So last night and today, I organized Maverick's toy bin shelf area, and it's just so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing. I am the queen of organization, so this is making my organized part of my brain, like, just, just so, so, so happy. Let's do a little bit of ASMR. Amazon these two lovely 12 photo frame 
like sets and I just keep thinking to myself I need to take the time because one of them is going to be for Mavericks one month through 12 months um, we're up to nine months so it's like it's just it's almost gonna be complete and then one will be like random um, favorite family photo so I really need to get on that I'm sorry about the heater being so loud. I am close to the hallway. Yesterday it was so warm. We had the AC on, but now we're back to the heater. <laughs> Welcome to the southern craziness of weather. Anywho, fellow mamas, I have a question for you. What do you do for your zippy sleepers for your little ones? Maverick is nine months, and I love these. Like, I still want them to wear them, especially for bedtime. It's just comfortable and cozy and soft and everything. I only get 100% cotton clothing items, at least for like the more comfortable things but they shrink so bad. These are Simple Joys by Carter's. I love the prints, by the way. Um, but I have to stretch out his arms because they're way too tight. I'm just having a really hard time finding anything that doesn't shrink, so any help would be appreciated. So our bathroom is literally a mess right now. Please excuse that. But I wanted to show you guys um, some improvements that I have made to just help our bathroom to be more... Um, I just I guess just more tidy organized and just you know uh, like convenient so I put this little table in here and I added a laundry basket instead of piling up all of our washcloths and towels and they get dirty in the corner like we were doing they go in here right away I love the system now and then you know sometimes you just need to put your stuff in here while you're gonna get your shower like put your clothes on it or um, you know different personal care products or whatever so even though it makes our bathroom a little bit smaller um, it has like benefited us in other ways so I'm really happy about that when I woke up sweating the other night because that's when we needed the AC on and maybe it just wasn't cool enough like my hair and head and like I was just all sweaty it was just I, I really hated it and that's when I just kept thinking as I was up nursing Maverick in the middle of the night at some point I just I just I, I hate how my hair touches my neck I still hate it and yes I know there's those of you are like you must have um autism or some disorder or something's wrong with you you must be on the spectrum or this or that and i'm just like i know there's a lot of haters that are always just trying to like come up with anything to be mean um and for anyone that's authentic and a true friend like if you're genuinely concerned for me like um obviously i'll listen to you <laughs> but um I don't know. I just, I'm so free when I don't have a lot of hair. I, I was like, what if I go really, really short? But then we're back to like, Maverick's not going to recognize me and he's not going to like it. And my husband likes me with longer hair. I mean, I, I'm able to put my, you know, hair tie now. Um, but I really want to go almost platinum blonde again. And I just, I just don't want to deal with my hair. But I, so it's like, I love how I feel and I, I don't have to have, I don't have to worry about it and I don't have to fuss over it. And it's just so amazing Maverick's waking up um but I just don't feel as beautiful so I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing look who woke up Maverick's awake <gasps> I see your tongue <gasps> good kicking <gasps> you're so strong mm -hmm. very talented do you like how your feet goes boom 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 on the mattress when you kick it <gasps> can you kick it yeah like that awesome <laughs> I love you. So even though I really dislike commercials, <laughs> unless it's a really creative one that just piques my interest, I don't know, I'm very weird like that, but I want to make some commercials. And guys, if they are ever sponsored, um, you will know because like I'll say something about it or say that they gifted me or something. So otherwise, it's just my own thing that I just want to do. Do you hear him going, <laughs> he loves to smell spices and candles and things. Um, Donovan's always been good about like, just showing him all this love and interest for life. So he'll sit around, do you want to smell the spices? <laughs> See what I mean, he's so cute. <gasps> yeah, you are so clever. Well, actually, he loves to open and close things now, so he doesn't really care so much about smelling it as much as this. <laughs> I apologize about my PJs. Yes, I'm still in the PJ life. <laughs> you guys, losing weight is so flipping, freaking hard. I need more exercise time in here in the home and at the gym and a better diet. Right now, Rick, are you all right? Bye, have a great day.